Hi, my good people. Welcome back. My name is John from Smart Leaders. Also, limited is I bring you all uh, services that are related to online services, e citizen, business registration, and career readvisory. If you're also business consultants, in case you need us, you can always contact us. So today we are going to look at one of the eventualities, which is very unfortunate, but uh, most of the times uh, keeps coming. And that is debt and application of a debt certificate uh, in Kenya. In its effort to continue digitizing the government services, uh, now the debt certificate in Nairobi County can be applied online uh, through the citizen. So uh, we hope eventually it will be uh, rolled out to the rest of the country, but for current, it is happening only in Nairobi County. So what you need to do is just need to log into your e-citizen account scroll down up to where we have the civil registration services here. So once you click at the civil registration services, this is the department that gives uh, two types of application. Number one, if you want a birth certificate, or number two, if you want a death certificate. So for a birth certificate, we have already done a video on this platform. You can be able to view how either to apply a birth certificate or even to replace one. But today we are going to look at how do we apply for a, a death certificate. So we click at death certificate there. So what you really need uh, to make sure you have when you are having, you want to apply for one is what we call the value permit and also the identification document. The value permit and the identification document. So you can see for application for a death certificate per copy is a uh, 90 bob, then you have a, a convenience fee of 50 bob. The total is 140. So if you want more than one copy, then you'll be charged according to the number of copies that you want. Uh, this uh, is not a downloaded online after application. You'll be notified to pick the nearest um, civil registration office that is in so you click on next. So up there, you choose the type of application. So we say it's a new current debt certificate. The county of death for currently, I've said the owner are accepting Nairobi, hoping they will be able to extend the service to the rest of the country. So you choose Nairobi. Uh, you choose the estate where you are applying from. Maybe let's say it's near your estate. Then how many copies do you need? Let's say maybe you just need one for now. Then you click next. So once uh, you confirm that these details are correct, click next again. So once you click next, you will come to the other number of questions. So the category of the deceased, is it an adult who is above 18 years of age? Or is it a child? Maybe for this case, we can say it's an adult. We'll be required uh, to educate the barrier permit number. So that's when I said you need to have the permit barrier. You will also be required to say the exact place of death. Maybe let's say it was a hospital, for example. Then the nationality of the deceased, is it a Kenyan citizen, is it a foreign, is it a foreigner, or other, let's say for now, it's a Kenyan citizen. So you can be able to search, but it's not a must you search. You can educate the, uh, the ID number of the person who is deceased, put the, your full name here. So once you put uh, the AID number and your full name there, the gender, say that was a male, the date when this uh, death occurred, let's choose for example, it was 4th of December, the age of the deceased, choose the number of years, say this person was dressed above 100, put there, occupation, what was he doing? 
So this person was just a farmer. Then you click next. So you can see you required to upload the scanned birth certificate. Sorry, the scanned copy of the barrio permit there. Then uh, the national ID or the identification document. This is of the deceased person who, have, who uh, you are applying the death certificate for. Then you will be required to uh, also scan the national ID of you who is doing the application. So once, maybe let's just uh, input um, some documents here so that you can see the next step. So once you're able to, to upload these documents, you just require to preview. Uh, and once you preview, you'll make payments online using a citizen, uh, maybe the what uh, they are calling the triple two triple two. And once you make the payment of the amount, you be notified through SMS. Uh, once these uh, death certificate is out, and where you go and pick it. So just let's use these dummy attachments there. So once you have made this attachment, you just click here on preview. You see the whole information you have put. If it's correct, just click on complete. So it will, uh, thank you for completing. Then pay for the services. You can click there. You want to pay for the services. Uh, you can see you'll be able to pick anywhere uh, that you want to. You want to pick this document. So for it, you come here and click pay. That is 140 bob. Then it will be able to auto-populate whether you want to make your payment through the M-Pesa, through the Apple, or any, you will be able to make payments. Then once uh, the certificate is out, you will be notified on where you will be able to pick it. So do hope this video comes in handy uh, to help us uh, once we have such uh, need will be able uh, to utilize this e-citizen platform and be able to get uh, the certificate. So once again, thank you for your support to our channel. If you have not subscribed, you have not subscribed sorry, kindly do so. And uh, for any query, our contacts are pinned here. You can always contact us on phone on WhatsApp. We'd be willing to respond assist if possible. So thank you.